Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be taking another stab at the crackle effect. This is actually, I think, my third time trying it. And these are two of my, I guess, all right attempts. This one is kind of a fail. It barely showed up. And this was with extra resin. So these two. And then my third attempt. It came out the best, but I mean, it's still all right. So I'm going to do it again. This time using contrasting colors because I think I used all blue and then the white in these ones and then the other ones I used purple and the white. So I'm going to choose my colors, mix them, and then I will be back. And also forgot to mention that for those first three pours, I, I watched videos before, but I didn't take notes or anything, so I didn't really remember what was being used, like what type of colorants and in what order they were being poured in, but I finally took some notes and I will try to use the same type of colorants, like a tint and mica and all that, and in the same order and see if I get good results and then from there. I can kind of play around with what type of colorants I'm using and in which order I'm pouring them in and see what type of results I get from that. Okay, I decided my colors, they're still kind of blue and purple. I just gravitate towards blue. So I'm going to use this dye. I don't have anything that says tints, so I feel like dye will be as close as I can get. These two micas. And then I don't have a paste. But I have epoxy pigment, so I'll use that and then another dye. And we'll see how it goes. I'm also going to use the counterculture DIY resin just so I can use it because I'm not really a fan of it. I'd rather use that resin than resin I actually like. Alright, I have my colors all mixed up. My tint, my two micas, my pigment, and then my tint that I forgot a little goes a long way with those aluminum light dyes and I put two drops in there so it's kind of dark and I barely remembered to save some clear as I was pouring this one I was like oh wait I need I need clear so I have a little bit of clear and I will pour that at the end and we will see how everything goes okay the color order the first colors first and I think she put it around the outside, around the outside, uh, let me see, fuzzy, and I wasn't sure how dark to make this, so, we shall see how it comes out and I also probably poured too much for this color I'm really bad at guessing at how much resin each color should be because we only pour this color once so like should I just use it all up I guess I could save it for like a little extra piece. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to get some of these bubbles. And then the next second color is next and then I'm going to need two layers of this, so I probably should have poured more. Let's see.
Okay. Next color is the third one. My white. As I was looking for whites, I realized I don't really have that many white pigments. So I should buy some. An excuse to buy more resin supplies. I don't really like that silver. It's too silvery. Mm. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we use up all this one, the pigment. I really love this blue. Oh my gosh. Blue is my favorite color. And this is gorgeous. So I will probably just use this one all up. Oh my gosh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful color. No, I don't know if I should be pouring from high up or not. Do they look the same size? Maybe. Maybe I should put more. Might as well. Okay, have extra for another time. I don't need that one anymore. And then we're gonna use <clears throat> the third color again, which is the white. And then we can use all this white up if we have to. I really like this white. <clears throat> it's not that much left. Let me see. Mm, that's good. Don't need that anymore. And then we use the fifth color. And we pour all of this one. Should I put more? I guess I could. I'm just trying to see if the coasters are the same thickness. Okay. Done with that one. And then we'll use the second color again, which is my silver. Mm. Pop these air bubbles. Okay. 
And then we do the clear, which I have very little of. I think it's better if I pour this up top, I think. Okay, let me see how much I have left after the second one. Maybe it's better if I poured it from lower down. I don't know. <laughs> but that's it. Now I want to see if it actually kind of does the pattern on the back. Or if it starts to close up or do anything. And I'm going to pour in some some other molds with that extra resin okay it's been about an hour since I started mixing and yeah these are looking like fails um I'm gonna try again using a different silver and see how that does I don't know this just looks weird <laughs> um but yeah I will be back when it's ready to pop these two out and with the extra resin, don't mind that. That was just leftover silver, but these two, I poured. This one, I used the same technique. And then this one, I just did whatever. So we'll see how those come out as well. Okay, it's been 14 hours since I poured. So I'm just going to take these fails out. I think the silver was too gray possibly and I also don't think I put enough clear resin in the middle to let the colors push out like it kind of worked but not really mm, the silver doesn't look too bad but I also didn't mix my white pigment enough yeah I don't think I put enough clear resin in possibly why that silver didn't really do anything in the middle so I will make sure to have enough clear next time. Um... You don't really see the dark blue that much. Kind of just disappeared. Maybe a tiny bit. Right there. And under the silver. Or unless that's white. But, yeah, I knew those weren't really going to come out. Let's see what these look like. This is the one that I kind of just poured in, however. I also don't really like this resin because I get a lot of micro bubbles. I like the back of this one.
I need to use that pigment more often. I love this blue color. But yeah, now I know I will use more clear, see if that will help with the middle, and maybe use more coloring in my, my, um, what is this one? The tint, possibly, maybe my other blue, the pigment, I don't know. Also the purple, and you can kind of see a purple like sheen I guess in the middle I don't know I don't know I just probably need to choose different colors too and also make my mix my pigments better but yeah I figured I'd film this one instead of just I don't know not filming it and then whatever <laughs> but I don't know maybe my next video is me trying this again We'll see. We'll see. But thanks for watching. And bye.